Good morning, creator. How are you doing today? The sun is finally out in Omaha, in the Midwest anyway, maybe. Hopefully most of the Midwest is seeing sunshine. Not gonna be overly warm day, but man, the last night the winds were blowing like crazy. Crazy, and this rain, and I thought for sure we was gonna wake up to the snow this morning, but not so. Just, uh, just sunshine, so it's a pretty awesome day. Uh, I'm going to do a couple quick projects to show you with our Chocotour silk screens. Using just uh, white or off white. And so, going to keep it simple. All that good stuff. Let me make sure you can see me okay, which I catch myself here. So, there we are. Hello, hello. You can see my messy desk. <laughs> Looking good. Say hi if you're watching. We're gonna do some inking and some chalking with um, Live Simply and Good Vibes Only. Good words to live by. Kind of, kind of um, wraps my uh, personality up. I'm pretty chill. I don't get too uh, excited about too much or. I don't know, I'm kind of basic, so. But I do love to design and I love to create and I love to craft and I like showing you guys how I do it, I guess. Um, so I've had this sweatshirt for quite a while. This came from Target, I believe. And um, I've been wanting to put good vibes only on it for a while and I just haven't done it. I've been wearing it. But I don't want it to be really bold. I just kind of like this shirt. Well, this shirt's bold with the color, but I kind of want it that worn. Just, uh, it's been on there forever look. Nothing, um, nothing really bold and vibrant. Because that's not always me. I like to kind of keep it simple. Except for my home decor. I love to decorate. And then, uh, stuff like that but myself I'm kind of not I don't I don't go out and get my hair done don't get my nails done I'm kind of just uh, uh, what do you call it uh, I'm low maintenance I'm not high maintenance by any means just give me some crafts and then decorating and designing and I'll be a happy person All right hi Joanne how are you So I've been working on um, projects to show on Design Studio and on Team B. Design Studio is this coming Thursday. And Team B, I'll be live on there also on the next Thursday. First Thursday of April. I can't remember if that's the second or the first. I can't remember the date. More towards the evening on that one because I have to... The uh, uh, valley at the attic during the day if we're still open then so hi 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 Debbie me too low maintenance I'm good how are you <laughs> I'm very good I'm much better not the sun shining it just always tends to give me more energy when the Sun is out so that's always a good thing right um, so yeah good vibes only Is the sun shining where you guys are at today? I hope so. Doesn't it make a world of difference? It does for me. And I've been in my house, literally in my house, since Friday evening. So over a whole week now. Where can I stick this? Which, I mean, I do stay home anyway, and there are days where I never really go out, but usually not a whole, I don't think it's ever been a whole week. And I really don't have any desire to go out. Not necessarily because of the virus, I just got things to do. Things to think about, designs to make, and create. I'm gonna do this in just Fawn ink, which I'm not sure if they still make fawn. It's kind of just an off-white. 
because and then I might brush over it eucalyptus because I really want it to be pretty subtle so I might brush this on top of this we'll see I've never done that before so I'm just trying to experiment with uh, I don't know I don't know what I'm doing I'm just experimenting because that's what I do everything I create is pretty much an experiment if it's something totally different this transfer is not overly sticky so we're gonna have to um, squeegee very lightly over it so we don't shift it so hopefully and especially with such a fine uh, print here that we'll still get a nice crisp image you know so this we may not we may just keep in the fawn and do good in the uh, eucalyptus. I don't know, we'll see. It's been gorgeous in Oregon City, Oregon, yay! Sunny in Southern Ohio, awesome. And good morning, Vicki. Awesome, isn't, the, isn't it great to have the sunshine? Ah, I don't know, maybe you've had sunshine. We haven't had the sunshine, I, I think we had one one little day of sun shining that's when i videotaped uh me setting up my easter decorations on my mantle was that this past week that might have been like monday sunday or monday um and i think that's the last time i've seen the sun it's been cloudy like all week so that is new fun all right let's grab a big squeegee and like I said, we're going to do fawn, and we're doing our inks. And I'm going to do them ever so lightly because this is not overly sticky. And I've done a couple signs with, with this good vibes only. One of them sold to a teacher, and she was going to put that in her classroom. She told me. I think it was something like she says it a lot to her students or something. I can't remember. She bought it. I was at. Uh, I had a display at Vintage Market Days this past fall, and that's when she bought it. I always think it's kind of fun to see what people are going to do with my designs. It had scrapbook paper on it. It's kind of a. 60s uh, hippie vibe paper, so it was kind of cool. Yep. She just loved it. Good morning, Gail. Just doing some inking. Which I always feel like I always end up getting it on my garment where I don't want it to be. I could chalk and chalk and chalk and never have that problem. But as soon as I'm working with ink, <laughs> it seems like that's when I either get it on my fingers or something, something crazy. So we'll see if I can get by with not, not doing that today. Then we're going to wash off this pig. That's from uh, Valentine's Day. And we're going to put the Live Simply on it. I've been trying to decide whether it's to bother put out the rest of my Easter decorations. I do have a little tree about that tall that I load up with uh, Easter ornaments. It's not an evergreen, it's kind of like a, it's like a white stick tree, kind of like. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. We were, I was planning on hosting our family Easter, but I think we're going to have to postpone that for a while. Okay, now I'm going to mix in a little bit of this eucalyptus in with this fawn color. Just going to blend in a little bit. I might just use my little squeegee just to give it some 
dimension, I guess. I don't know how it works. I, you know, I do that a lot on chalk, but I haven't really done it much on, on inks. So I don't really want it completely over the letters, just kind of randomly throughout it. Just to see if it kind of gives it a, I don't know, a worn look maybe. Just messing around, see what it what it does. Experimenting. I'm not gonna do it on the vibes, because I want to make sure that since it's a really thin font that um, you know we can see it better against the blue shirt. So we'll see. Check my fingertips. kind of see the coloring of the green. Kind of neat. I'm going to stick that in my water. And pretty simple. Good morning to all, Gail. Yes. Yeah, I can see on the camera that the good and the only looks a little bit more greenish than the vibes, doesn't it? Cool. I like it. And it's kind of like, you can still see the um, fawn color come through in different areas because I didn't totally uh, saturate saturate uh, each letter solidly. So you can still see the fawn and the green kind of marbleized together. It looks pretty cool. So let's, let's, let's call it done. Of course, we gotta let it dry. I usually let it dry at least 24 hours before I heat set. Actually, I have I still have to heat set my uh, country girl flannel, bleach flannel shirt. It's still setting out in the other room and my tea towels I made. So maybe tomorrow or the next day I can heat set all of them at the same time. Yeah, you can see the difference. Yeah, I think you can, but I'm gonna hold it up. I mean, I don't wanna mess it up, but you can still see some of the cream color under in different areas. So it's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks pretty cool. And I thought about, I pulled out the kind of the mauve color too, but I, I'm glad I stuck with just the, the greens and creams. So it looks pretty neat. I'm gonna lay this aside and we'll wash off our piggy. And we'll work on that. So yeah, I did not uh, seal this in because I knew that I was going to redo it. And of course we want to take off our Valentine ribbon, which is just tied on here. So hi Debbie, I guess we didn't say hi to you. Yeah, I did. Maybe I did. Debbie. Okay, I'm not going to tie this. Right? Should be easy, right? Layers and layers of ribbon tied with this uh, lace ribbon. So basically, I'm just undoing it all. Sometimes it's nice to make the bow permanent, and then you can just slap it back on next year but now I have all these pieces so something to think about I don't think I had the peg in this because it was so tight and here's some other ideas that are kind of nice for these days the live simply is what I'm gonna do you got this I like bless this mess because everyone probably has their kids at home and your house is probably a mess <laughs> and good things take time so good times ahead of us. And I was thinking about doing a baking company, but I am not a baker. 
I have three sisters and my mom and they all enjoy baking, but me not so much. I think it's because you do all this work and sometimes it's not really that much work, but this was my theory when I was younger. You do all the work and then you know everybody just eats it up and it's gone. I like to create something I can enjoy for a really long time, which is probably why I enjoy crafting over baking. So this would be appropriate for my mom and sisters, <laughs> but not so much me. I enjoy eating it, but uh, not really doing it. Unless we're with a group of people and we're all baking. I like doing that because that's just um, socializing <laughs> and getting together with my sisters and my friends. Okay, I'll let that. So what we need is my scraper. This is our newest tool we have. And I used it the other day when I took off the paste off the big chalkboard from my mantle and the window. And you can just scrape the paste into a pile and wipe it off that way, which is a lot faster than swirling it around with a wet wipe and doing it several times to get it off. So I'm kind of enjoying the scraper. If you just came on, I inked a sweatshirt real quick. I'll show it to you after we get done with the pig. I did it in good vibes only. Hence the title of my live today. And this one we're gonna do to live simply. So live simply in good vibes only. Or with good vibes only. Okay, let's sweat this down one more time. And I it again. We're talking about the weather and how the sunshine is finally out. I'm hoping to maybe get out of the house. I don't know. I don't really want to get out of the house. I don't know if it's fear or or what it is. Probably. I don't want to admit it, but maybe it is. I have enough problem. I have I cough with my uh, allergies and my hernia in my diaphragm causes me to cough. So um, I don't really want to compromise my lungs any more than I need to. Okay. This is our board and base that we sell on the website, chocolatour.com slash Odessa Rose. It can actually go horizontal or vertical. So it depends on which way your transfer is sitting, okay? But we're doing another horizontal one. Live simply. And we don't want to do it with inks. So let's put our inks away. And... I need to decide if I want to just do it in white. These are the red one colors I'm going to put on it. This is kind of in my uh, other living room. Greens and golds and tans and browns, I guess. Uh, so I could do it in like a sage color. Sage and white, maybe. One word in white and the other word in... Um, this color. What is this? Yeah, sage. That's about the perfect color. Let's do sage in the simply and maybe live in the white or off white. My frame is white. You can see what it looks like with the all nude. Sands and old color. See if it's still, still gloomy in Texas. Oh shoot! Maybe you'll get the sun today. This is an old color called sand. 
probably caught it just in time before it, too much longer it's gonna dry out. So let's get it, get it moist again. It kind of stinks for some reason. It's not moldy, but it stinks. Oh yeah. My husband's a funeral director in, in the, um, they just got, I don't know what you call it, where they get top priority and if, if a vaccination would come that they, just like the medical health care people, they get um, to be treated first because obviously they have to deal with the public. And I'm like, so what happens if you get a deceased with the virus? I mean, are you, I mean, they take protection on everybody, but just like with HIV, they take a higher, they take, they gown and glove, I think even more and maybe wear a shield or a mask more than they would with just a normal case. So we'll see what happens if that, if he ever gets a case like that. Chances are he probably will. People don't always think about the funeral directors. Not to be somber, but. <laughs> This is just facts of life, I guess. Okay, mixing that sand back up. And uh, like I said, I don't know why it stinks. Okay, I think I want to do sand and, and uh, sage. So if you are a designer, don't forget, to, and it wasn't in, they didn't put it in the Chaka Tour newsletter last night. But she said it was going to be, I thought she said, that I was going to be on this coming Thursday. And, and in the uh, Chaka Tour designer studio, so pretty sure it's still going on. But um, be, I got some designs I've never done before, and they're different, so, and two designs, and then... Um, then on Brenda's Team B, if you're in that line, I'm going to be doing that. Miss the grandkids, but it's the, for the best. Yeah, isn't that right, Sherry? I don't know if we'll get to see them or not. Um, so if you're on Team B, then the first Thursday in April, so two weeks or two, a week from this coming Thursday, I'm going to be doing a live there also. And I was laying in bed last night. I've been trying to decide what I wanted to do. And as you, when I do most of my thinking or designing in my head is laying in bed. So I'm pretty productive in, in, uh, in right before I fall asleep on my thinking. So anyway, I came up with an idea. So I'm going to mess around with that today and see if it's going to work. And then we'll, we'll do that live. And of course I can show everybody after that, all my customers. So just spreading the chalk paste, squeegeeing it over the silk screen. Live simply. I like to try not to have any lines, like overlapping lines. I try to smooth those out. And then I'll do it quick with the sand. Hopefully I didn't get it too wet. Pick that up. Nice. Okay. Lay that in the water. And then we'll make a bow for it. Live simply. I don't think I got it in the middle. 
This one's super tight. I don't even put the peg in it, it's so tight. I had to sand, sand it down to get it to fit in. Okay, live simply. And let's bow it up. Bow it up. Hi, Tonda. Tonda Wolf. Is the sun shining where you're at, Tonda? Hope so. We finally have sunshine here today. It's a good feeling. Because we've been in the clouds for, I think, five days at least. And it gets to you after a while. All right. Now let's pull out some ribbon here. And tie it on. I think, I think this time I'm actually going to make the bow and then uh, tie it around. So when I want to change this out, I can keep the bow and use it for something else. Oh yeah, this is my string. Got all messed up. I got coming from both ends. Now how is that possible? Well, it's possible, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a mess. It's not getting any better. Good grief. Good grief. Yes, finally, good. string to tie it all together and then I'm going to take some thicker twine that I have and make some little strips to um, twist out and frizz frizz fray <laughs> maybe three Do some X's with this. Maybe just even one X. That's probably too long, so we'll trim it down when we're done. And then some gold. It's not like not metallic gold, but yellow gold. Mustard, curry, whatever you want to call it. This ribbon is ancient. I've had this for years and years and years. Back when I was doing like silk floral arrangement. And then this one, I think I'm actually gonna make um, like a bow with it, like this. Put that in there. But it's not two sided, so I wanna make sure that the right sides are showing up. This is where it can get tricky. And I'll layer these on there. Okay. big piece of twine. So I got them all X'd on here and then I'm going to lay this across because I'm going to tie it in the back. So I'm going to flip it over and tie this in a knot back here. Cinch it all up. 
usually I just tie it once and then I kind of check it and make sure everything's kind of where I want it. Okay. And then, where's my third one? Here it is. And then I'm going to knot it. Hi Lori G. Now I'm gonna kind of trim it down and then we'll tie it on. And fray out these ends. So I am gonna dovetail the big one, the wide ribbon. Make it a little shorter. And then trim up these gold ones. It's not a very uh, stiff ribbon, it's kind of floppy, so the ones on the top I'm going to cut shorter so they don't flop down so much. Okay, then I'm going to fray out these strips, there's a three ply twine, so each one's going to get separated. So we'll end up having nine strands on each side because I cut three strips of it. And I'll probably trim those a little bit shorter too. So what else is going on? Not much, everyone's at home, right? Or is anybody still, is anybody able to go to work? Or are you all home people? Or does your significant others still have to work? Or, I mean, go to work. Some of you are working from home, I realize that. My kids, well not my kids, my one son in law is a teacher, so he's home. And I don't know if he's doing some online teaching. A lot of the schools are kind of trying to do that. And then, um, uh, her, his wife, my daughter, Avery, is a physical therapist, so she's still obviously going to work. And my other daughter also works at the hospital. And she will be doing some of her work at home, I think she said next week. She does 3D imaging, medical imaging, so. And then her husband is an engineer, and he's been the one staying at home this week with the kids who are a kindergartner and a three-year-old. And then my other daughter, the physical therapist, she has a one-year-old. Okay, so, kind of how it's gonna end up looking. Something like that. Put it up tight here. So I'm going to take it around the back and just tie a bow, or I could bring it around front and tie a bow too, if I wanted to. Do one up from the top and one from the bottom. Let's see if I can get it to work. Because I made my string long enough, I can do that. Turned out kind of cute. Well, there you go. Little bows always make a difference, don't they? Pretty cute. I can still work. It's my day off day. I take x-rays for a living. Good. Doing a lot of chest x-rays. I bet you are. Have you seen any virus? Maybe you can't say. Lori G. Okay. So. There it is. I'll make sure you can see it in the right angle. Pretty simple little project you could do with these board and bases and those size A transfers. Um, you could just done this all in one color. It would have been perfectly awesome to do that. But uh, it's kind of fun to put a little bit of color in it and uh, live simply. I like it. You'll see when I post a picture of this, what I'm, why I picked these colors. 
and because of the furniture piece I'm going to put it on. Um, so I'll show you again my sweatshirt since some of you are just joined. Oh, I forgot I was going to put some of this in it. Oh well, some of this roping. Not the end of the world, it looks cute like it is. So here's my sweatshirt. We did earlier and I used I think it was called I forgot fawn or whatever off-white creamy color on the whole thing good vibes only and then on the good and the only I put a little bit of the eucalyptus ink over it just kind of randomly so you can still kind of see the uh, beige color coming through in different areas of the words good and only so it kind of comes off slightly green a little bit. So yeah, this is gonna dry overnight and then I can heat set it using an iron or I have an easy press. And you want to, um, with an iron, regular household iron, you wanna do, um, what is it? Um, medium heat uh, for four minutes, no steam. Make sure you put a piece of parchment paper over your ink and then iron, whether you're using a heat, no matter what heat source you're using. Put parchment paper over it, medium iron, no um, steam for like four minutes, front and back. And then on the easy press, it I've heard different directions. Some say up to 350, just like 30 seconds. But I do about 340 and I end up doing almost like a minute, like 30 seconds and then maybe another 30 seconds. And then if I remember, I'll do the backside also. But you know what, I, everything I've washed with our inks, it just stays on there forever. So, yep, it works, it works. So, live simply with good vibes only as we go through this time, any time really, but we gotta stay strong. There we go. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a good weekend. It's Friday. Stay home. I was watching the shabby tree. I don't know if you guys watch her this morning. She was talking about getting out and cleaning, you know, the sticks out of your yard and all that stuff. But we're going to be kind of cold here still. I think it's barely going to be above freezing over the weekend, but um, it must be warmer where she's at. So yeah, good time to do some spring cleaning inside and outside. So have a great weekend and I will chalk with you later. Bye.